Oh, we're at it again with Dear Pat Me. Uh, this time we have something else that is kind of exciting. Um, remember when my sleeping pad didn't work? Well, we got a new one from Dear Fami. They sent it out and we're gonna test it out tonight in the tent. But before we do that, let's take a look at them. So we're gonna start with unpacking the product. You can see that each of us has two packages here. One is a sleeping pad and the other one we're assuming is a, a separate inflatable pillow, which is a nice little uh, addition to this uh, package. Yeah. Usually you do buy these two things separately. So it's kind of cool that they all came in the same thing. All right, so the sleeping pad comes in its own carrying case, which is really nice. We love um, all of our products to have these. It just makes it super easy and compact when you're packing it away um, or packing it out um, so if we actually take the pad out of the bag this is what it looks like all rolled up and folded and there's actually a couple of other things in here as well in the bag and it's probably um, oh it's a vinyl patch repair instruction and it's in a bag too so that it doesn't get wet which is really really nice so you can see that here now let's take a look at the actual sleeping pad Okay, so it's quite big. I'm six feet tall, and this is probably meant for somebody who's like 6'3 <laughs> or 6'4. Really good size. Now, right off the bat, what I see on here that's different from what we have on um, other sleeping pads that we have used is these buttons. You can see them right here. And we're assuming the reason for that is because you can actually attach multiple pads together. And that's something we're gonna show you later in the video. Uh, but before we get into that, let's go ahead and blow this up. The valve is one of these double sealed valves. We're pretty familiar with these and we love them. You can open it up, open the top one up like this when you blow into it. And then there's a bottom one like that, which actually opens it together. So you're not fighting against yourself, blowing into it, and, and it's not, uh, and, and, and the air escaping when you're taking a breath. So that's perfect. Okay, here we go. This pad has a surface layer and a bottom layer, both made from 40D nylon, making it durable and waterproof. All right, we got this, well, Andy got this inflated. Like and four hours later. <laughs> <laughs> we tried to use our inflator. It actually was faster to just blow it up. Um, so something that's different or unique about this that we haven't used before is this kind of interlocking pattern that it has. Um, it's gonna be interesting to actually sleep on this and try it out, but I think that it's going to really help it from not deflating through the night. The other part about it is that it's really, really, really light. Like it's not like other ones that we've used and it looks like you can easily kind of manipulate it, put it in your tent uh, and move it around. So we're definitely really excited for that. And then obviously the last piece, like we mentioned earlier, is once we get the second one blown up, we're going to be able to attach them both. So instead of us having to be on separate sleeping pads like we usually are, we can have one bigger sleeping pad and actually share each other's warmth through the night. She's gonna steal my warmth. <laughs> Okay, well, Tia is getting my bag ready, or my pad ready. Let's take a look at the pillow. Again, it comes in this little stuffing bag, which is really nice. Uh, oh, interesting. Um, so right away I see that there's these little bumplies. Um, I'm assuming they're anti-slip. So that would be nice to be able to sleep and not have your pillow slide around. Single valve, this is just a single valve one. I guess it's okay since uh, the pillow is uh, pretty small. And it does come with this little strap so you can put it around your sleeping uh, sleeping pad so it doesn't slide around. So I'm really going to enjoy that. Much easier to blow up than the other ones. Okay, awesome. I'm excited to try it. 
same material as the pad is made out of, it feels like. It does uh, feel very soft, so that's really nice. I, we will attach it around the pad so it doesn't slide off. It's a problem that I have all the time because I tend to roll around a lot. All right, we've got both sleeping pads blown up here. Both our pillows are blown up. We're gonna go ahead and start attaching the pads together. But the one thing that we wanna do before attaching that is actually slide the pillows on um, because I don't know if we're gonna be able to slide them on after we've attached them. So we'll do that first. Just gonna make sure that uh, the logo here is at the top of both of these. It is. All right, pillow number one is on. Let's get pillow number two on there. There we go. Now, if I'm not mistaken, these clips should be the top clips, and on the other side of my other pad should be the bottom clips. And sure enough, that is what we have. So we're just gonna line these up and start clipping them together. And the last one. Okay. We've got a double sleeping pad. I think this is going to be really great. Let's put it in the tent. Oh. Okay, as you can see, these sleeping pads are really long, which is actually a nice feature if you're tall. Um, for our tent, or this Ozark Trail tent at least, they're a bit too long. If we were to use these in our Marmot tent though, they would actually fit perfectly because it's a longer tent. Um, so for if you're tall, these might be a really, really great option. Um, now you can also see that they did stay stuck together, which is really nice. and um, we'll be able to set up basically like a full twin bed instead of individual beds like we normally do. So let's get in there and try it out. How is it? Good, the pillow is staying put, which is amazing. Uh, if you look down there, it's not actually as like into the tent as it looked like and uh, I think what will happen is it'll actually keep my feet away from the outside of the tent and you'll keep them a little warmer so that's actually a bonus <laughs> no straight up it's just, our tent is just too small here but overall I think this is actually going to uh, work pretty good the bumps are actually very comfortable you can't feel them but uh, everything is staying inflated so thumbs up for that and are they still together they are still together all right i think that's enough testing uh or at least preliminary testing the real test would be sleeping out here tonight in these uh, on these pads and pillows uh, it's going to be a really great test for us because it's going to drop pretty cold to minus 10 allegedly so tomorrow we'll let you know how they went and how to pack them up after you're done with them good morning 
So we slept on these pads last night and I've got to say they were pretty comfortable. We were also super impressed that the two pads actually stayed together for the entire night. Even with both of us rolling and tossing and turning back and forth, they did not come apart. Now, I do also want to talk about the pillows and the fact that you can uh, put them onto the pad with this elastic, game changer. Oftentimes with these inflatable pillows, what you'll end up finding is you wake up and the pillow is like on the other side of the tent. But because they actually attach here, they stayed put all night, so we weren't searching for where our pillows were. So this morning we brought them inside uh, so we can actually show you how to uh, deflate them and pack them back up. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and actually start to detach these first. Come apart nice and easily. And we'll take our pillow off. And I'm gonna start by um, deflating the pillow. So if you just come to the back of the pillow and you open up your inflation nozzle, and you just press it in, you'll see that it deflates. Okay, so I'm just gonna fold this back up. With each fold, I'm going to make sure that the air is being pushed out of it. And that looks good. We'll close it back up there. All right, so I'm just gonna pack this back into the carrying case that it came in. Very simple here, just roll it up a little bit and put it in. And there you have it. Your pillow all nice packed up and, uh, and compact, it's good. So we'll go ahead and deflate and pack up the sleeping pad next. All right, so very similarly here, we're gonna come back to the valve. Now, you probably remember us mentioning at the beginning of the video, the valve has um, the dual option here. So you don't actually wanna open the top valve, you wanna open the bottom one because that's going to be the hole that lets you get all of the air out. And we're just gonna go ahead and deflate this the same way we do any pad. We usually like to start all the way from the bottom and really push that air out. Once you've got the arrow, you come back to the bottom and you can actually start to uh, fold this up and roll it. So we'll fold it in together. You just start at the bottom here and you start to roll it in. There is our mat, and we can go ahead and also just put this back in the bag. Oops. So, there you have it. 
The Dear Family sleeping mat and uh, pillow. They come as a set, but they are packed individually, which is really nice. They both have their own carrying cases. And you can see that they're quite large when you have them inflated. They are perfect for sleeping on, but they also compact and fold up nice and small for when you're traveling. If you are interested in these products, we've included a link in the description below, so feel free to go check it out.